my name's Charlotte and this is my excitable little puppy Paddy who's very excited to go on a walk today. I'm a history and politics student at Edge Hill and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the history of where I live. Paddy decided he wants to come with us but at the minute he's running around very excited waiting to go on his walk. This church has seen many memorable events. For example, the captain of the Titanic was married in this church. Not only that, but I was christened in this church and I know which event is more historically significant. Today, we are talking about the legend of the Winnick Pig. So despite how significant I think my own christening was, I think there's more important things to talk about Despite today. the memorable events that went on within these church walls, that's not what we're here to tell you about today. I'm here to tell you about the history and the legend of the Winnick Pig. you can see, in the carvings on the stone, there is a little stone pig. And that's the little fellow we're going to be talking about. The story today. of the Winnick Pig is something that many children were brought up being told about. The Winnick Pig doesn't just appear on the church, it appears on houses as well. So I always remember my auntie had a stone with a pig on. And we always questioned why, and she said, like the church has a pig in its walls, so does our so, house. as a nosy history student, I obviously wondered where this legend had come from, whether there was any ounce of truth to it whatsoever. So I began digging around a little bit on the internet, just to make sure what I was telling you so, was true. the church was built in memory of St Oswald, the king of Northumbria. And legend says that a pig, every night while the church was being built, would steal these rocks. It turned out he'd take him to a small dwelling near where the king died. And it's quite funny to see the fact that that pig has followed around and now Winnick. I would like all of you to know about so, the Winnick pig. That's all from me and Paddy today. And that was our little adventure, trying to find the Winnick pig and tell you a little more about him. I wonder what we'll be up to next time.